Hello from Wuxi City, China. Today we discuss the controversial release of radioactive wastewater from Japan's Fukushima nuclear power plant. In 2011, during the great earthquake and tsunami, Fukushima witnessed Japan's worst nuclear accident. Now TEPCO, the plant owner, faces the challenge of disposing of over 1.3 million tons of radioactive wastewater. Their solution? Dump it into the Pacific Ocean, a move approved by the Japanese government and the International Atomic Energy Agency. While it seems logical, the world is concerned. China in particular is alarmed. Citizens have started hoarding sea salt, fearing future contamination. They call for boycotts of Japanese products and demand political action. This issue strains Sino-Japanese relations already complicated by a painful history. TEPCO and the Japanese government's past downplaying of Fukushima's dangers have eroded trust. The lack of transparency regarding wastewater composition data further fuels skepticism. Radioactive tritium's long-term effects remain unknown. Dumping this waste into the Pacific is a global experiment, affecting millions and marine sea life. Unlike chemicals, radioactivity has no clear safety limits. Is there a better solution? Storing wastewater for a longer period, considering tritium's short half-life, might be safer. Clear communication with Pacific Rim nations could have avoided the current turmoil. TEPCO and Japan have concealed the ongoing daily addition of 170 tons of contaminated water. This means an extra 1.8 million tons over 30 years, totaling 3.1 million tons of toxic water. A better solution is needed for the environment and all living beings, not just in Fukushima, but globally. I understand the frustration in China and hope this video sheds light on our situation. Thank you for watching. Please share your thoughts in the comments and if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. That's it for now. Goodbye and Sai Chien from Lauma.